Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. NVIDIA is starting things off on a strong note. When you walk into their booth, the first thing you're going to see is three 4K TVs running in NVIDIA surround, powered by four GTX Titans running in NVIDIA SLI, and you are going to see Project Cars, a game being played by real people, so this is not some kind of you know random tech demo or anything like that running at a very smooth frame rate. Speaking of smooth frame rate, if you look up above me, you can see right there, 4K surround gaming at 1.5 billion pixels per second. NVIDIA's got tons of stuff they're demoing here. Game stream with Shield is obviously a big thing. We went in the back room and we checked out Tegra K1. They've got some amazing demos running with Faceworks as well as with Unreal Engine. I mean, it's a truly DirectX 11.2 OpenGL 4.4 compatible graphics chip using Kepler, the Kepler architecture inside a mobile form factor. So that was super amazing, but Really, I mean, if you guys have heard me talk about G-Sync lately, you'll know how excited I am about it. And there was some misconception floating around that G-Sync was only going to support 1080p TN panels, but that's totally untrue. They've actually got a wide variety of different partner solutions, most of which will be coming out this year with support for G-Sync, but the one that really grabbed my attention is the uh, pre-production one here at the end of the line. So they've got two Asus 4K monitors running here. One of them's got their Pendulum G-Sync demo, and that's interesting, but we've seen that before. I wanted to show you guys the real-world demo because normally you can't really demo G-Sync on video, but in this case they've actually found a game that in a real world scenario demos it incredibly well. So they've built a little app that cycles between the different sync modes. So you just press page up and right now we're running in vSync mode. So you can see we're here over the water. Fraps is giving us a clean 60 FPS and everything runs butter smooth. Now as soon as we Oh yeah, there it is. As soon as we go over a populated area, it starts to really stutter because it's dropping down to 30 FPS due to the variance in how quickly the GPU can process these easy frames versus those more difficult ones. Now we're going to go ahead and press the button again and I believe this is going to drop us, yep, there we go. So we're up at around 78 FPS over the water. Still looks very, very smooth over the water where we can maintain that frame rate, but what happens when we go over that city, oh, look at that vertical tearing. All right, one more time here, one more time here. Okay, so we're over the water, smooth, smooth. Oh, that tearing, very, very, very awesome, very awesome. Okay, you can see it like sweeping back and forth. So that's what happens with V-Sync completely off. Now here's the last example. With G-Sync, we're not gonna see any lag and we're not gonna see any tearing. So little green dot, 60 FPS over the water, nice and buttery smooth, passing over the land, Oh, wow, look at that. Nice and smooth because instead of dropping down to 30 FPS, we were able to drop down to any frame per second because G-Sync lets the graphics card control the refresh rate of the monitor. So if it's running at 42 frames per second, that monitor is running at 42 refreshes per second. Very, very cool. Guys, don't miss any of our CES 2014 coverage. Big thanks to NCIX.com for allowing us to be here at the show. Remember, they're your source for great technology, selection, and service. We have a couple of other sponsors, Corsair Memory, as well as Western Digital. Huge thanks to them as well, because without them, it wouldn't be possible for us to be here bringing you guys this content.